Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on acceleration on a velocity time graph. This is the third video in a series on the kinematic equations of motion. And as with the previous videos, here we have a velocity time graph. We have velocity in meters per second on the y-axis and the time in seconds on the x-axis. I should just label the velocity time graph similar to as I did in the previous video. We have our initial or starting velocity of u. And we can see that this line represents an increase in the velocity up to the final velocity, which we'll use the letter V for. I should just label zero on the graph. Across the x-axis here, we have the time period for which this graph is relevant. So I'm gonna label that with a lowercase letter T. Let's have a look at the key feature of this graph, and that is that we have a sloping line here going from our initial velocity of u to our final velocity of v. In this particular case, it's an increase. It could have been sloping in the other direction. If u was greater and v was smaller, it could have been sloping in the opposite direction. Um, but what it represents is a change in velocity. And if we think to what that would be in real life, well, that would represent an acceleration or perhaps a deceleration or a negative acceleration if we were decreasing speed. In this case, we're increasing uh, velocity or our speed, which means that there is acceleration happening here. And in order to, for us to be able to work that out, we can do so by finding the gradient of this particular slope. So what I'm going to do is just draw a right angled triangle underneath the slope here so that we can try and work out what the gradient is using the letter values that we have here. So let's think about what's happening on the vertical side of the triangle or in the y direction. Well, we have the difference between the final velocity and the initial velocity. So therefore, in order to work out what that is, work out the difference there, well, we could have to take the value of u away from v. So we can describe this as v minus u. We also need the change in the x-axis. Well, that's going from naught up to our value for time, which is t, which will just be the value of t. t minus zero is just t. And if you think about what gradient is or how we describe the gradient, it's uh, the change in the y value or the y difference uh, over or divided by the change in the x. So if we think about writing this as a formula, a little formula to describe our acceleration, well, we would write it as a equals the change in y, which in our case is v minus u, over the change in x, which is just the value for t in this particular case. So here we have a formula that describes acceleration, a equals v minus u all over t. Now what I'm going to do is rearrange that formula into a formula that you need to become familiar with, or perhaps you've seen before. It's one of the kinematic equations of motion, so first thing, I'm going to multiply both the left-hand side and the right-hand side by t. So I'm just going to rewrite out what I've got. Well, I've got a t on the left-hand side, and then I've got v minus u on the right-hand side. And I'm going to make v the subject of this equation. So what I'm going to do is to add the value of u to both sides. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to have u plus a t, and on the right-hand side, I'm going to have v on its own. I'm just going to swap the sides of the uh, equals here so that I'm starting with v and I can rewrite out what I've got here, v equals u plus a t. So I have a formula with v, the final velocity, as the subject. And this is another one of our kinematic equations of motion when we have a constant acceleration. And by that, what I mean is that the acceleration does not change. You notice that we have an increasing straight line there. It's not curved. Um, if we had a curve, then we'd have to deal with finding the acceleration in a different way. Uh, but when we have a constant acceleration, it's increasing at the same rate, then we can use this particular formula. V equals U plus AT. So there we go, another kinematic equation of motion. Uh, v equals U plus AT. That's it for this video, but I'll see you next time on the next video on the kinematic equations of motion. Thanks very much for watching.